Today we will learn in Swift UI how to pop to root view. So let me show you a demo first. So here is our main view or you can say root view. I click view 1 so I go to view 1 and there is a button for view 2. If I click view 2 then I can go to the view 2. So this is the third view or the third screen. So if I click this back button I can go to the previous screen. But what I want to do if I click move to dashboard I go to the main skin or home skin or the root skin so if i click this button it will work so today i want to show you how to write a swift ui code to do the following task i have uh, created a template view for the content view view one and view two okay so if i run now uh, so this is the content view is showing i click view one then go to view two and if i click move to dashboard nothing will happen okay so another thing you have to notice is that uh, i am using navigation view so when you want to use a screen then you have to use a navigation view and within navigation view you have to use the navigation link and in the content view in the navigation link i am basically storing the uh, state like is active or not for this navigation link in here okay so there are different way you can uh, solve this problem so one way is that you can uh, pass this local state is v1 active from content view to v1 using the binding and from v1 to v2 using the binding and from there you can just change the value so that from here when you from view to you change the value of is v1 active it will reflect here but normally what i do when i develop ios application and if there is more than one child view i prefer to use that uh, state in a global state okay uh, in here we can basically use the environment object to do that so let's uh, define a directory in here so states where we will be storing our state so let's define a new file the file name is app state okay and then import combine framework and let's define a class class app state observable object at published var move to dashboard or move to home screen whatever you like to uh, give a name here okay it will be a boolean and the default value is false and now come to the scene delegate and after this content view let create an instance app state equals app state and here in the UI hosting controller there is a root view right the content view so here you can bind that app state so environment object and the bindable object is app state okay so now we can access the app state from any view in our application so let's define the environment object here at environment object app var app state app state all right and copy this line uh, basically in this demo we do not need to access the app state from view one we only need to access from view two so we just paste in here okay so now what we want to do is that here is the move to dashboard button in the view three right so here i also mark a fix me so just after this write a uh, write a code that save dot app state dot move to dashboard and makes it uh, true so the variable will be true so when you are changing this move to dashboard from in this app state which is a global app state because we added this in our scene delegate so what will happen we can basically access that value in here as well because here we also define this environment object and that app state is basically an observable object and when the published variable or data will be changed it will notify the object that basically observing this state okay so this is the fundamental theory so here now what i want to do there is a method uh, on receive okay for so using that we can access that value so here i will type on uh, receive and then here i want to write save dot app state dot then dollar sign move to dashboard and perform here you will be accessing the closer value so move to dashboard and here you can access the value so what i want to do i want to here i want to put a if condition 
if move to dashboard is true then i want to make self dot is v1 active equals false so that means this value will be false and self dot app state dot move to dashboard that will be false again in this uh, block okay and you can write a print command that move to dashboard uh, move to dashboard and then you can uh, pass the value or not whatever so now one thing one important thing is that here is detail link i want to remove this link first and now i want to run this application to show you that what will happen so v1 v2 and move to dashboard you see uh, i'm changing basically move to dashboard and this method on receive in the first content view it actually received that updated value move to dashboard but nothing is happening like i am not going to the uh, root view so why is that so basically when you are using the navigation link you have to use a is detail link and here is the uh, description that sets whether or not the navigation link should present is destination as the detail component of the containing navigation view so basically by default is detail is detail link is uh, true uh, when you are basically using ipad and is detailing is true that means the content will be shown in the right side uh, so if you ever use an ipad ipad application like master view then you can understand that but uh, for this purpose what we need to do we need to set it false it is very important if you uh, did not do that it will not work so after i make it is detail link false you will see now when i run this application v1 v2 and if i click move to dashboard i come to the root view or the content view so this is how i solve this problem using the environment object another thing you can do that you can basically move this is v1 active this uh, variable in here in the app state and uh, here uh, this uh, view to you can just change that value from uh, that variable also from here so when you do that you basically do not uh, need this on receive thing you can just uh, when this is v1 active will be changed in the environment object uh, this thing automatically will work okay so this is another thing you can do but i want to show you this on receive method as well because sometimes uh, based on the data we want to do some kind of operation in real or uh, business application so that's why it is very important to know about this method okay if you want to access the source code you can visit my github.com slash mahamud asan then you can click i swift swift ui where i basically write some uh, of my reference here you can click swift ui and here pop to root view navigation and here you can see the code okay so states you will see the state here and if you come to the content view you can see the code so thank you for watching and have a nice day